Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, February the 27th. It's the second week in Lent and week four in the Psalm Cycle. Thanks for joining me. Open my lips, I now shall declare your praise. At midnight I rise to give you thanks because of your righteous judgments. Please take a moment to reflect on all the blessings that you are thankful for today. Hear my cry, O God. Attend my prayer. Amen. Psalms 61 and 62. And please recite them with me. Hear my cry, O God. Attend my prayer. From the ends of the earth I cry out to you. My heart is overwhelmed. Put me on a high rock. For you have been my shelter and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in your tabernacle forever and trust in the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those that fear your name. You will prolong my life. May my years cover as many generations. May I forever abide before you. May love and truth preserve me. And so I sing praise to your name forever and perform my vows each day. Amen. My soul waits for you, my God. You alone are my salvation. You alone are my rock and my defense, and I shall not be moved. How long will they attack me? They shall be slain, all of them. They will be like a tottering wall and like a tumbling fence. They plan only to destroy. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouths, but inwardly they curse. My soul waits for you, my God, for I hope in you alone. You alone are my rock and my defense, and I shall not be moved. In you are my salvation and my glory. You are the rock of my strength and my refuge. Trust in God, all you people. Pour out your hearts before God, our refuge. The lowly are but an illusion, and the great are but a lie. Placed in the scales they rise. They are lighter than air. Trust not in extortion, and take no pride in robbery. Do not set your heart on riches, even if they increase. God has spoken once, and twice I've heard this. Power belongs to God alone, and also to you, my God, belongs love, for you repay us all according to our deeds. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hear my prayer, O God. Attend my prayer. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 3, beginning at verse 20. Then Jesus went home, and the crowd came together again so that they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He's gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebul, and by the ruler of the demons he casts out demons. And he called them, to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. But his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first trying tying up the strong man. Then indeed the house can be plundered. Truly, I tell you, people will be forgiven for their sins in whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness, but is guilty of eternal sin. For they had said he has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers are outside asking for you. And he replied, 
who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church and the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For our church leaders, for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, and for Brother Joe, our community servant. For all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of word and sacrament. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, and for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Joe, our president, for Katie, our governor, for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the world. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For all who've died, especially Martin, Sarah, Brother Stephen Edward, William, Brother Walter Arthur, Stephen, Father Tom, and Fran, for all who serve in harm's way, and for the victims of terrorism and violence. For those who are sick, for the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering with dementia, and for Bill and for all who struggle with addiction. For the mercy of God community, Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the Mercy of God Associates. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all the saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We trust in you alone, O God, and place our hope in you. Be our sure defense, for to you belongs all power and glory and honor. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.